I have not always been a writer. I worked for 22 years in the music business. My job was to help artists and musicians distill story. And I was constantly asking them, what's your story, what's your story? And one day one of the musicians asked me, they said, what's your story? I knew that my father was born in Lithuania. When Stalin occupied Lithuania, my father fled and lived for nine years in refugee camps and survived and came to the United States with nothing and the family made a life for themselves. But what I didn't know is that when my father's family fled, the Soviets arrested and deported a huge part of our extended family and sent them to Siberia. This is my family history and I don't know about it. How many other people don't know about it? And that inspired me to write my first book. During World War II, people buried their stories and their statements in jars and in bottles. Some were buried underground, some were thrown into the sea. And when people ask me, is hidden history important? I tell them, yes, it is important because of those bottles in those jars. These souls were desperate for someone, anyone, to know their story. And that's an opportunity that I have. They are the ones who motivate me. It starts with motivation before you can get to inspiration. If you want to write a book, you have to get your butt in the chair and you have to start typing. And it's only after you show up and you begin the work that inspiration can arrive. I want someone to close a book and I want them to think for a time after. I want them to care what happened because empathy is one of the greatest and most beautiful contributions that we can achieve through writing. 10 years ago, I found a writing group here in Nashville. And my writing group sees my writing before my agent before my publisher, before anyone. We're all from such different walks of life, but we all love story. And then after several years, that love of story developed into a love of one another. I have grown tremendously from it, and it's a huge gift having this writing group. For me, solitude helps achieve that state of inspiration. We have a little uh, log cabin that's out at the lake, and it's my absolute favorite place to write. I head out there, and I don't do anything except write, and it's so blissful, and it's an achievement, and I have to work for it. And just because you write one book doesn't mean that inspiration, this muse, is gonna show up, you know, and, and tempt you and, and lead you forward. No, you have to work to knock on those doors until the muse opens one of them. I am drawn to stories of strength through struggle. I think how we deal with the challenges that face us, that's what really defines us. I'm Ruta Sepetis, and I am a seeker of lost stories and a hunter of hidden history.